August is a World Breastfeeding Month. This year's theme is Nourish, Sustain, Thrive. The month is celebrated in order to shine a light on why protecting, promoting, and supporting lactation is so important. The American Academy of Pediatrics recommends exclusive breastfeeding for the first six months of life. But of course, that isn't always possible. For more on this discussion, we're live with Kaiser Permanente's East Bay pediatrician, Dr. Christina Sullivan, and lactation consultant, Chris Ahmed. Thank you both for being here this morning. Thank you for having us. Hi. I'll start with you, Dr. Sullivan. You know, what are the benefits of breastfeeding? Yeah, breast milk is amazing. We actually call it liquid gold in the medical community because it has so many um, benefits, not only for the baby, but also for the parent. So we know that breastfed babies have lower rates of ear infections, pneumonias, asthma, um, and most important, breastfed babies have lower rates of sudden infant death syndrome or SIDS. Um, for the parent, breastfeeding helps lower their risk of breast cancer, ovarian cancer, osteoporosis, postpartum depression. It can also help you lose the baby weight faster. Um, and something that I learned when I became a new mom is that breastfeeding is really practical. Um, Breast milk is essentially free. It comes out pre-warmed, so you don't have to heat it up and then worry that it's going to be too hot and you're going to burn your baby. Um, and then at the end of the meal, there's no cleanup. There's no, there are no dishes to do, which is really nice. Um, breastfeeding is also good for the environment. A lot of benefits, but also a lot of challenges. Chris, what are some of those challenges that new parents face? Breastfeeding can sometimes be challenging. Um, so we recommend that new parents get educated before their little one arrives and that they seek help if any issues come up from a lactation consultant. Uh, low milk supply can sometimes occur in about five to 15% of individuals. That's why it's really important to stay hydrated, eat a healthy diet, consuming about 500 extra calories a day, um, and removing the milk from the breast every two to three hours by feeding your baby, especially in the middle of the night. Plug ducts can also occur, and that's a sign that there's inflammation in the breast. And if that happens, folks are going to want to ice the breast regularly, not do any breast massage, and um, just feed normally. What is recommended for as far as staying hydrated? How much should women be drinking? The current recommendation is to drink to thirst because everybody's a little bit different, um, but it's amazing how hard it is to get that hydration and food in you when you're nursing because you're kind of pinned at the table. And so um, having water bottles and cups of water all stashed around the house is definitely a good idea. Definitely a good tip. And doctor, what are some resources out there to help parents? Yeah. So luckily here at Kaiser, we have a lot of breastfeeding resources and help. We have prenatal classes. And then in the hospital, we provide lactation support as soon as a baby is born. And we're really um, proud that our rates of babies being discharged only on breast milk is 20% higher than the national average. We also have lactation support once a baby goes home. Um, recently, Kaiser Permanente East Bay partnered with Black Infant Health um, and we're helping to provide even more postpartum services. Chris, we'll wrap with you. What are some final tips or any advice for parents as far as breastfeeding goes? I always recommend to set up a lot of support from friends and family before your little one arrives. Newborns are exhausting, <laughs> and the breastfeeding individual is going to need to focus on feeding their baby and recovering from the birth, and everything else needs to go to somebody else. At Kaiser Permanente, we have baby and me groups where new parents can come together to offer each other support, get help, and form new friendships. That support and the community is so important, and lots of good sleep as well. Oh, yeah. Chris Ahmed and Dr. Sullivan, thank you so much for being here. This morning, Claudine.